A new demo from Caltech is set to launch in January 2023, and it could shake up the way we collect and harvest solar power in the future. Caltech's Space Solar Power Project, SSPP, is getting ready to put its first space solar power demonstrator into space to test new technologies that could make the dream of space-based solar power harvesting, which could yield considerably more energy than ground-based solar arrays. The 50-kilogram demonstrator will be deployed from a momentous Vigoride spacecraft carried into space by SpaceX in January, and consists of three main components, the deployable on-orbit ultralight composite experiment, Dolce, the microwave array for power transfer low-orbit experiment, Maple, and a set of 22 varying types of photovoltaic cells called ALBA. Scientists are going to be testing three major challenges to space-based solar power, namely deployment, efficiency, and wireless transmission back to Earth. The ALBA and MAPLE experiments will take time to get ready, but Dolce, which will test the solar panel and demonstrator superstructure deployment, will take place first, and pretty quickly at that. The unfolding of the superstructure for the demonstrator is going to be a delicate maneuver, much like the deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope was in January 2022, Dolce will also be testing new technologies for the first time in space, and a lot can go wrong. Space-based solar power isn't a new idea, but it is an exciting one. Unlike ground-based solar power, space-based satellites would be able to avoid a lot of the drawbacks of a ground-based solar cell, like inclement weather and prolonged day-night cycles. The challenge, of course, is that space-based solar power is in space and space is hard to get to and build in, no matter how easy SpaceX can make it look sometimes. Lifting a 50-kilogram solar array hundreds of miles off the Earth's surface is an expensive proposition, which is one of the things that makes ALBA so important. These 22 solar cells are going to be testing for the most efficient form of solar collection so that Caltech researchers can see which technology holds the most promise for making space-based solar power economically practical given the cost of setting it up in the first place. Another major hurdle to get the power you do collect from a space-based satellite back to Earth where we can use it, 